Hi, so, uh, do you come here often? Hi, YouTube. I, uh, I do spend a lot of time with my Bergen, so I'm very close to it. And it's great company. So this video is about the Army Issue 100 litre Bergen and my views on it, etc. So if you're interested in a review, then stay tuned. Straight after my new intro. Because everyone's got a trailer now, haven't they? I've got to have one. Let me know what you think. Catch you later. frame inside the, the inside of pouch I've taken that out of mine and it kind of lights it up slightly but these are hefty heavy rucksacks even empty so you know they're definitely not ultra lightweight what they are very good for is carrying a lot of weight and a lot of gear into into the field into the, the woods into the wild I uh, keep on getting told off for calling it in the field, but it is a field, isn't it? You're all going into outside, outdoors, whatever you want to call it. So this is just a 100 litre Bergen. You can pick them up on eBay for next to nothing. They're normally being sold by some, you know, short of cash squaddy who basically is selling it so you can buy four cans of Stella for the weekend. So they can pick them up for about 30, 40 quid sometimes. Read the description. I make sure that they're not very badly damaged they're not going to come brand new not at that price so you're going to have maybe the odd buckle missing the least although the least kind of picky you are on the state they are in the cheaper they are so you know if they're dirty if they've got writing all over them i got this one cheaply because it was missing quite a few of the buckles on the side but they weren't a requirement for what i needed so i managed to get this for about 20 pounds so really cheap if you shop around on, on eBay. And again, if you don't mind it being slightly damaged, this has got a, a little hole in one of the side pouches, a little tiny hole, uh, you can really get a good bargain. So the, the Bergen, and I will pack this up later, but it comes with an outside pouch. Oh, the other thing is the zips. Now these zips are chunky ch uh, zips. These are not gonna kind of break on you. I mean, I've had cheaper pouches where the, the zip starts pulling up and these are solid these were built to last you know they are uh, they're not going to give give way really well made and that's the thing about these any army surplus gear they're well made so they're going to last the pouch is huge you know and i'll show you the kind of gear that i fit into these pouches when i'm doing a, a, a pack or my kit video but this is just a review of the rucksack so i didn't want to confuse matters by having my gear in here so you've got another in the lid you have another large pouch here and I personally I put the all my just-in-case gear in here you know, I've got some stuff in there as spare fuel so this is my just-in-case pouch because it's not the most easiest so I've got things like I thought I emptied it spare batteries 
and insect repellent. But this is kind of like my just in case. I put my spares in there, spare batteries, spare clothing, spare uh, my survival bag, all that kind of stuff. Just bits in there because you can get to it very easy, but not as easy as you can on the top. And this is where my head torch goes and my gloves and my woolly hat, etc. The pouches fit on the side, so that gives you 120 litres if you put the rocket pouches or the side pouches, as they're called, on, the, on as well. I think I have 120 litres and I have carried 120 litres into an overnight camp before. I think if you've got the space, you fill it. So I'm, I am trying to kind of reduce what I'm carrying and I can just about get it all into 100 litres. These people that go off and do overnighters with 30 litres, I mean, maybe they've got smaller gear. I've got thick sleeping bags um, and the sleeping bag in itself pretty much fills up half this bag. So inside the pouch, inside the actual Bergen itself, You've got a drawstring and an inner. Now the bag's not waterproof in any way. Uh, it's probably spray proof, but you know, if whatever goes into this bag, then put, put it into a waterproof bag if you want to keep it dry or a Bergen liner. Uh, again, when, you, when I do the kit video, you'll see how I waterproof all my stuff in here. But the pouch is huge, absolutely huge. Uh, you can, Cram a lot of stuff in here. You've got this kind of pulley here, so you can close it all down, press it all down. Then you've got the next one here. Again, these are well made, good quality buckles. These last, you know, I've had, I mean, my Bergen, fortunately, I got rid of my, the one, my issue Bergen when I left, but I had it for nearly 10 years and give it a loads of grief. And then you can close it down. You've got the, yeah, the attaching buckles here. And what I like about these buckles is they're easy to adjust. So, you know, you could make a big and put it down again. So, you know, that's, that's really useful for when you're piling your stuff into your bag and then you cinch it down and it compresses everything. You then have a front pouch. And these front pouches are huge. You, know, you can fit a lot of stuff in the front pouch. You can see the size of the front pouch here. You know, it's that deep, it's like a whole arm's width. Uh, I fit a lot in here. This actually is where my Pathfinder water bottle, my mug, my stove, and my lunch, and a brew kit all fits into here. So this is, I can stop, have a brew, have some lunch, and I don't actually need to go into the Bergen to get the, uh, the, the stuff. Again, when I do my kit video, you'll see that in detail. It has loops along the side, and it has loops here for for walking poles they're actually designed for uh bivy poles but you can put your walking poles in here if you so wish unfortunately this one's missing the loop on the top but it should supposed to come with ties here so you can fit your walking pole and tie it up again they're actually designed for bivy poles but walking poles fit perfectly and then you've got your pouch your straps leading all the way up here where you can either hang things I haven't tried putting molly pouches alongside here. I don't think it would look very good because they're going uh, horizontal, not vertical. But again, I use it to hang on carabiners. I can put my wooden cups on here, etc. So if you do want to look like a you know, crazy camper with loads of th things dangling on the outside, there is a lot of things to attach. You've got your suppressing, suppression, suppressing, uh, straps on the side here so you can really cinch the the pack down even more or as I use these I put my uh, tripod along here or you can put your sleeping pad or, or or roll mat on the side if you want to or on the top you have further straps uh, it doesn't come with these black straps but you have loops on the top where you can attach things to the top of here so you've got lots of of variations there's supposed to be a grab handle on the back of here unfortunately the guy who had it before me some for some reason cut them off which I don't understand why which is a bit of a pain because I do quite like hanging it up the straps the shoulder straps are probably the thinnest straps you're ever gonna find on a Bergen they will cut in if you're putting a lot of weight in this Bergen and obviously you try not to and I am trying to cut down my weight at the present moment it's probably about 30 30 pounds is way too much to be carrying with my knees my legs and just it's just too much at the moment so I am trying to 
shrink down. Unfortunately, army gear tends to be heavy, but it's cheap. If you want the ultra light stuff, you tend to have to spend the money. So these straps will cut in if you're putting a lot of weight. And they were designed to carry a lot of weight. I mean, they're not going to buckle or snap or anything like that, but they will start digging into your shoulders. They're designed for slightly skinnier, you know, you super fit soldiers and not as more beefier people. So yeah, they start cutting in eventually. And you start, you know, if I've carried mine for a long distance, I'll start getting bruises and, and mocks on my shoulders. But that's also because I'm carrying everything plus the kitchen sink. I'm, I'm taking everything in with me, which I don't need to. I just, I like to have and not need. There's a, there's no kind of airflow down the side. So you're going to get a sweaty back. You know, you walk any sort of distance and you know, even after about a mile, the, the sweat is just piling in. These belts, these loops here are designed to do away with the waist strap. Uh, not a lot of people bother with the waist strap and also they're designed for extremely skinny people. Mine goes absolutely nowhere near me. So there you go, you know, you've got your side pouches, your top pouch. Shop around for them, they're dirt cheap. And, you know, as long as you're not taking it a long distance, they're not bad. Uh, but it's going to last a lifetime, you know. These are designed for soldiers and they're designed to last. So good quality, well priced, good value for money. I wouldn't necessarily walk miles in them, but we'll walk miles with one, but they're a good bit of kit. So if you pick them up cheap on eBay, they're really good and they're really worth it. So uh, happy shopping.